Real big. It tastes so good. It's America. It's big. Yeah. Land art is artists going out and establishing a relationship with the environment. Land art has evolved and it's become more ephemeral. It's more involved with things that are actions and processes, less products. It's moved even further from this notion of art that is a, an object, a commodity, something that you can put in your house and it matches the couch. Uh, but it was fundamentally about people moving out of the gallery and out of the studio and making the environment the studio. Yeah. Well, when I started the, the Land Arts program, which was to take students out and give them a chance to actually uh, interact with the world, uh, my feeling was that they were part of the, you know, no child left in doors um, generation. And so if we try and give them direct physical contact with real sites so they learn with their bodies, not just with their minds. Uh, they're not studying slides on a wall, they're actually walking on the spiral jetty. Um, and we try and give them a time experience that they just can't have in American culture, whether you're going from your lattes to your cell phone to your text messaging to three classes a day to your job to your roommates. And that sort of rapid turnover really doesn't give your right brain much of a chance to, um, to be creative. So we try and create a, a, a sort of open, continuous, seamless time where people can work on the same projects for days on end, where they can wander, where they can get lost, where they can find themselves again. And ideas can come to them in a way that really is more uh, on the creative right brain side than on the logical um, left brain. The students today come with a much more playful uh, position. They see humor as being a very integral part of our relationship to everything and they're not burdened by this need to make monuments and to do quote-unquote serious work. I would say that this generation is more willing to be just really out front about the fact that they are in fact playing and that's not something to be ashamed of. There's content in that. slowly pulled back from engaging with the environment and we think of ourselves as being the problem so we pull back more and so then it becomes the other and at this point we don't have skills we don't have knowledge we don't know what the cycles of the moon we don't understand why we have summer vacations I and mean, we're just completely removed from the kind of natural cycles and so it's easy to become fearful of them and then if you have a government that's selling fear as a mode to control us that's another easy way to control people, is make them be afraid to go outdoors. We're gonna have to figure out a new relationship to this planet. And it's not about making stuff, there's plenty of stuff. We have to think about how we as humans can be in balance with our planet. And so doing things as, art, as artists that uh, start to speak to uh, a much gentler approach to the environment, leaving less trace, making less things, uh, and a more intimate involvement, actually looking and hearing and seeing and smelling the world that you're in, that seems to me that's something that art can bring to this, uh, to this period.